Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video for one of my most anticipated videos to make which is on the Mystery Mudders. This really is one of the coolest and most unique series I've ever seen for diecasts released by any company and really sets the bar high for future companies to probably copy I will say in the future but this is a Spin Master and Monster Jam first and it is so awesome. So I will say I originally did have the mystery mutters. I just didn't know how they worked. I thought they were color changers. So I did it off camera and actually changed my only set of two and revealed them. But once you reveal mystery mutters, they don't change back. The whole point of them being covered in mud is that you don't know what you're getting. And there are over a hundred variations of each truck. I'll explain really how that works in just a moment as we unbox these two trucks in front of us and reveal them on camera. But for now, let's unbox the mystery mutters. First one being the blue thunder here on my right. So here it is unboxed, and we're also going to unbox the Grave Digger so we get them both out on the box at the same time. We'll also do the other two in this video, so we'll do a total of four. And here they are, as you can see, over a hundred variations, hundred plus there. And here they are with this mud covered look. Now it's time to actually reveal them. I would recommend doing this in a sink. However, since I am in my studio, I'm going to put down an old cloth. It's stained with watercolor and paint from past use. So here we go as we wash up this blue thinner. So we put them into water, you basically clean it up. It's gonna take a minute here and it's gonna make this water extremely dirty, but it'll be worth it for the end result. Uh, I don't even know if actually this is enough water. Um, it is very messy. So if you're gonna do this, I recommend, like I said, in a sink, but as you can see, the mud is coming off the truck. It is actually clay that they cover these trucks in. So you don't know what's underneath the mud until you wash them up. And as you can see, here we go. It's starting to reveal what's underneath the mud coat. And it will be one specific variation. You never know what you're gonna get. There is no cheat code to how you can find these. Uh, these are absolutely random so that collectors, I guess, don't get a hint at what they're getting. I'll wash this better later. But here's the variation of Blue Thunder I got. It is a blue body variation. There is two versions of Blue Thunder, one with a white body and one with the blue. And here is this variation with a dark blue and gray logo with gray thunder in the background. It is Blue Thunder number one, variation 25. So Blue Thunder one means the blue body and variation 25. And there it is. Like I said, I'll wash it better later, but here's the basics of the variation. Also the blue roll cage and black chassis, and they all have brown tires with brown rims. So there's the first Blue Thunder variation. And now for a really cool one. The Grave Digger variations are super awesome. So here goes Grave Digger. I really hope I have enough water to do this, but uh, as we do this, like I said, it does get messy. So please be prepared for that, but it's well worth the reveal of the truck itself. And as you can see, it's going to be a green ghost style truck, but we gotta keep washing it to really find out what it looks like. I'm gonna have to reset the water for the next two. Oh, that is, that is really cool. You can see it's starting to become a blue ghost variant right there. And let's keep going with this and wash the side panels. It looks like it's gonna be a fully blue coast. Oh man, that's super cool. So I'm gonna keep washing it. Like I said, it does take a little while if you don't have enough water that's clean to get all this off. But uh, so basically here's where we are so far. It's a dark blue and purple version of Green Ghost. And let's keep going with it. And this water is like becoming really, really muddy. Um, oh, it's a full blue Green Ghost. This is one of the coolest ones. I'm so glad I found this one. All right. And I hope you guys are sticking with me as we get through this. But here's the basics of this variation. This is my actual favorite variation of the Grave Digger Green Ghost that we've seen so far. And I am so, I feel so lucky that I found this as my first variation for this video because like I said, this is my favorite of the Green Ghost variants that we have seen so far. People have been posting what they find collectors across Facebook groups and Instagram. And I've been so jealous seeing the ones that they find because the ones that I got from my original samples weren't as cool as these ones have been. And this is by far the coolest Green Ghost, or I should say Blue Ghost in this case, Grave Digger Variation 2, which is Green Ghost with a green background, Variation number 25. 
This is the best one. In my opinion, it is the best one. The purple and blue looks so awesome with the green ghost scheme. And there it is, variation 25 of Gravedigger 2. Now there is a Gravedigger 1 variant. I don't have any to show you in this video besides the original one that I washed for the first time and had no idea how it worked back then. But this is what the standard scheme looks like for Gravedigger 1. This is variation 13, so it has orange fog with a blue background and a green ghost with purple flames and purple flames on the roof. There always be different variations where the hood flames don't match the top and the side panels are different as well. But this is variation 13 for Gravedigger 1. It has the classic black paint with green roll cage. And in this case for green ghost variants, it has the green paint scheme with a black roll cage and green chassis. But variation 25 of Gravedigger number two is so sick. And I'm gonna wash this up a little better and I'll be right back with the full scheme revealed and then we'll reset the water and do it all over again for the other two. Okay, I have totally revealed the original two that we just looked at. Here's Gravedigger 2 variation 25 with its scheme. Dark blue for the green ghost scheme and it is so awesome. This is undeniably cool and I am so happy. Like I said, my favorite variation so far. There's also a pure red one with red flames, red ghosts and a red side panel. I hope we'll find that in the next one. I have no idea. Like I said, it could be anything in this, but here is the 25th variation of it and also the Blue Thunder variation, also number 25, surprisingly, with the gray theme and blue logo with a blue background. There's also, like I mentioned, a white Blue Thunder scheme. Here's an example of one. This is variation 13 of Blue Thunder 2 with green thunder and a red logo. It also has a yellow roll cage. So there's that. Let's unbox the next Blue Thunder. As you see, we have it right here. And we also have the variation of Gravedigger. Don't know what it's gonna be, but we'll unbox it. I do know it's a Green Ghost though. The codes on the bottom of the box will tell you if it's a Blue Thunder number one or two, as well as a Gravedigger one or two. All of mine are Gravedigger, Green Ghosts, and Blue, Blue Thunders. So let's reveal Gravedigger first this time. And here goes the same process of making it super, super muddy. Uh, again, you're gonna have to do this in a sink. This cannot be done in a somewhat controlled environment because there really is no way to control how crazy this gets. Um, it looks like it's gonna be uh, a normal green ghost, surprisingly. Um, let's keep cleaning it up. Okay, so this is uh, one of the variants that is not as crazy different as usual, but it is on a green background, so I will take that as a new variant of green ghost. Um, I won't be able to fully reveal this in the studio, but I'll wash it off and show you in a moment what it fully looks like, but this is Gravedigger 2 variant 13. And here's the roof with green and the hood also with green. So it's a green on green variant of Green Ghost. Like I said, there are times where they're mismatched and completely different on all sides, but two of them have now been completely the same, which is really interesting because most people don't find them that way. So there's Gravedigger number two, variant 13. And let's check out what we got for Blue Thunder. And again, if this is not fully revealed, I'll wash it off and show you in a moment. It's pretty much just to show you guys how to wash them, which is pretty straightforward. I just want to see what the variant is uh, just washing a little bit off um, actually starts to look like the original one that we just saw. It's possible to get doubles as well, and I have seen people get them, but uh, usually pretty uncommon since there's so many. Oh, it is the same variant. This is Blue Thunder 25 again. Uh, so nothing exciting on this one, sadly. It's going to be Blue Thunder 25 number one, uh, which we just saw revealed. So I got a double. That's pretty incredible to me. Actually, I'm pretty shocked. So let me wash this off. Let me wash my hands and wash the, the other Green Ghost, and we'll be right back again. So here they are all together, two of the same variation of Blue Thunder. Surprising, like I said, I was not expecting that, but we have Blue Thunder 125, and those are two of those, and we have my favorite variation of Green Ghost Gravedigger, Gravedigger 225, and it is blue on blue with blue side panels. And then we have Gravedigger 213, which is green on green with green on the side panels and orange fog in the background. So there is that variant. And this is now the official Mystery Mudders reveal video. Like I said, there are different variations of Gravedigger and Blue Thunder to collect with a white background and different colors and the classic scheme with different colors. But I don't have any of these to show you guys in this video besides the ones I've already revealed. So there's the Mystery Mudders. A super unique concept, going to make a lot of collectors search crazy for these all over the place. But this is only series one. We have a second series coming up. So I'm really excited to see what else they come up with. And by the way, I have more of these. So if you guys want me to do a part two of this video and potentially a part three, let me know in the comments below. But for now, I will see you guys next time. This is Ryan or Monster Mo CD signing out.